To say our understanding of the universe around us is limited is generous to say the least. With fewer than 100 years of space exploration under our belt, we are still very much in the infancy of discovering the worlds beyond our world. After all, the Moon is the furthest a human has ever been from Earth, and Elon Musk's estimation of reaching Mars by 2050 has been laughed off by most of the scientific community. However, we do have a tool that continues to prove itself invaluable to, no pun, unearthing the secrets of the universe we call home. The James Webb, a $10 billion space telescope that was almost canned, is now revealing priceless data that threatens to shake up what we believed about the cosmos for decades. Let's talk about it. Telescopes always seem to play a central role in shaking up the status quo of what people believe about existence. In the early 17th century, Galileo's telescope helped him discover that it was, in fact, the Earth that rotated around the Sun and not the other way around. This discovery would also help dispel the belief that our planet was flat and that the spherical Earth, along with other planets, was in heliocentric orbit. Over 300 years later, in 1929, Edwin Hubble used his own telescope to discover the expansion of the universe. He identified that the stretched light wavelengths, or redshift, of observable galaxies were directly proportional to how far they were from Earth. In other words, galaxies and stars further away from Earth were moving away faster than objects closer to Earth. In 1990, NASA launched the Hubble Space Telescope, HST, named for Edwin Hubble. The HST can observe visible and ultraviolet light and it has made incredible discoveries in its 34 years. It helped us estimate the potential age of the universe, which is around 13.8 billion years. We also saw that most major galaxies are anchored by massive black holes at their centers. The HST also helped lay the groundwork for calculating how quickly the universe expands. Until very recently, this rate was believed to be 41 miles per second per megaparsec. On Christmas Day 2021, the HST's successor, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, was launched after decades of controversy. This new telescope had a more advanced image capturing technology and it used infrared radiation to see even further and further back than the UV toting HST. At a project cost of 10 billion, not everyone was impressed with the prospect of simply snapping photos in space. However, the telescope would soon silence its critics. On July 12, 2022, NASA unveiled the first image taken by the JWST known as Webb's first deep field, the image showed a Volans constellation galaxy cluster called SMAX 0723. Thousands of galaxies, from massive to minute, in full vibrant color. The JWST also discovered mega exoplanets like WASP-96b, which looks like it may have the potential for water. Black holes tens of billions of years old and numerous star formations were also discovered. Not to mention dying stars, infrared views of Jupiter, and even organic molecules in a galaxy called SP041847, over 12 billion light years away. And all of these discoveries were within a year of launch. In fact, it seems the JWS is making groundbreaking discoveries on an almost weekly basis. In 2024, the telescope's infrared camera unveiled a star-rich neighborhood of the Milky Way's galactic core. This hydrogen-rich region, which is nearly 50 light-years across, features around 500,000 robust stars and a massive protostar 30 times heavier than our Sun. The Orion Nebula has also been found to be home to several newborn stars and giant free-floating planets. Some of these rogue planets, which range between 0.7 and 13 times the size of Jupiter, have been labelled Jupiter mass binary objects, jumbos. Some of them even orbit each other, an unprecedented mystery. We have also discovered Jade's GS Z701QU, the oldest dead galaxy ever documented, as well as the GN Z11 galaxy that is home to stars formed just 430 million years after the Big Bang. But all these discoveries pale to a finding made by the Jalba West in combination with the HST. It turns out that depending on where you point, the universe is expanding at different rates. This means that Edwin Hubble was slightly off with his math and that the famed Hubble constant, the rate of universal expansion, is just one of many values. In simpler terms, 
because the universe has infinite directions, there are infinite rates of expansion, at least. This problem is known as the Hubble tension and it was first identified by the HST back in 2019. However, experts could not be certain and believed that it may have been a measurement error. However, the more precise JWST confirmed the Hubble tension as a real issue in 2023. The findings of both telescopes were officially documented in the Astrophysical Journal Letters on February 6, 2024. Without a solid expansion rate, a lot of the math in astronomy is inherently wrong. Equations, such as those for working out the size and age of our universe, need to be corrected or scrapped altogether. The 13.8 billion year estimate could be off by tens of billions of years. Nobel laureates like David Gross have described the ripple effect of this finding as a crisis for the field of astronomy. And he's right. Despite the advances in space exploration and imaging, tools like the HST and Job West have only clarified just how much we don't know about the cosmos and existence itself. Additionally, we mustn't forget that we don't know any factors that influence the expansion of the universe besides dark energy. That means there is a chance that the rate of expansion at a certain point could also vary from time to time. Astronomers typically use two methods to determine the universe's expansion rate. The first method involves careful analysis of the cosmic microwave background, CMB, and checking for fluctuations. In simple terms, the CMB is sort of a fuzzy echo of the first lights of the universe, believed to have been produced around 380,000 years after the Big Bang. This method yields a Hubble constant of 41 miles per second per megaparsec. The other method involves measuring the redshift of pulsating Cepheid stars. Astronomers use telescopes to compare the Cepheid's peak brightness to their observable brightness to come up with a cosmic distance ladder. Using the HST, this method yielded a value of 45 miles per second per megaparsec in 2019. In 2023, Nobel Prize winner Adam Rees led a research team to double-check these findings by observing 1,000 other Cepheid stars across five galaxies with the JWST. The furthest of these was 130 million light-years away. Rice and his team found the same value of 45 miles per second per megaparsec, which means there was no measurement error on the part of the HST. The Hubble tension is real and it promises to bring a chaotic avalanche of confusion to astronomy. With that, we've reached the end of the video. Share your thoughts down in the comments. How old do you think the universe is? Is there a way of knowing for sure? We'd also appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribed to the channel so we can continue bringing you exciting space topics like this one. Take care.